The reason we're doing the Ideas Clinic in ECE as ECE Design Days is because our students are very, very book smart. They're very, very good from their co-op programs in particular areas. But one thing that we could have more of is connecting all these ideas together outside the context of a course. Because a real world design spans multiple domains. There's usually a mechanical component, there's usually an electrical component, there's usually a software component. And rarely can you just isolate it to one or the other. So here we're giving them a safe environment to try ideas. They're not going to lose any marks for doing something that doesn't work. Um, they're encouraged to try and fail. That's how you learn and that's what we're trying to accomplish in the Ideas Clinic. Uh, I, would, I would strongly encourage other students uh, to come and try something like this for themselves. It's very, it's very exciting and very rewarding at the same time. We enjoyed ourselves, we had a lot of things to do. We challenged ourselves every day and um, we just tried to make something cool. So what we're trying to do today, we have four challenges and they start to connect more and more as the, as the time goes on. The first is a hardware challenge where they have to wind their own motor, which connects to their physics uh, and electrical courses. Um, they need to develop an H-bridge circuit. They have no idea what an H-bridge circuit is. They don't even really know how to use transistors at this point. They're going to program a pitching machine which shoots ping pong balls that is unprogrammed. And we're not going to tell them anything about it. We're just going to hand it to them. Um, and then they need to expand on that using a Tetrix robotics kit and also using some Wi-Fi shields or Bluetooth shields for their Arduinos. And at that point we've let go and we just want to see what amazing things they can accomplish. Was this fun? A lot of fun. On a scale of 1 to 10, 100. Yeah, it's a lot of fun.